Hyrule, a massive man, and welcome back to another video with me. Today, I'm going to be showing you something really cool, and something that is extremely powerful, especially if you want to go into 3D modeling. Okay, so let's begin. I'm going to hold Alt, and I'm going to make a cube. And that's all I'm going to do here. Now I'm going to magnify. I'm going to come up here to my workspace. Click on the drop down box. And go right down <coughs> to mash. And this is what I'm going to be showing you. Now I'm going to make a whole series on this. So I'm not going to be showing you everything you can do in it. In this video, I'm just going to be showing you how to add a dynamic because this tool is amazing for physics. So, you're going to want to, with your cube selected, you're going to want to come up here and you're going to want to select this box and it will add a mash. And as you can see, you've got a mesh network of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 boxes. And you can change these boxes in the mesh distribute. So you can change this from 10 to 6. And you'll have... Six cubes. Oh, I should probably also tell you that your original cube will be hidden. And basically anything you do to your original cube will be done to your mash cubes. So, anyway. I'm going to set this to... Great. and it will change to a grid there are a lot of settings you can change this to linear, radial, spherical, mesh in position, grid I'll let you all figure out what the others mean and down here we have the grid X, grid Y and grid C. Obviously we've got 3 on the grid X, 3 on grid C. So we're going to change grid Y to 3. And that will give me 3 height. And distance X, Y and Z just means how far apart they are from each other. You don't need to worry too much about that. Now we're going to go into our mash editor. Our actual mash. Mash one. And we're going to come down here to add node. And we've got all these different nodes we can choose from. And these will add different things to it. What I'm going to do is add a dynamic and if we turn grid off because grids annoy me on this scroll out oops we haven't added the dynamic I, I must have not clicked it properly and there we go, we've got dynamic. And I'll explain all of these in a minute. I'm just making sure things are right. Yep, things are right. Time, mesh one, dish, mesh. Yeah, it's all good. So 
now if we come down here and we press play our stuff will fall splatter and then the animation will replay now what we can do is we can manipulate certain things we can manipulate the friction the rolling friction dampening rolling dampening and bounce mass and collision jitter they're all pretty self-explanatory but let me show you the bounce so if I zoom out so I can see the screen it's changed from what I normally had because now it sort of bounces and that'll basically be it that's the first lesson I'm going to do with MASH next I'm probably going to be showing you a bit more to do with the collision and getting other objects to collide with this object but for now this is it i hope you've all had fun watching this please like and subscribe and if you enjoyed it share it around to your friends thank you for watching